most beautiful actresses of the 1970s then and now. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will be exploring the captivating lives and careers of stunning actresses from the 1970s. From their iconic roles to their enduring legacies, join us as we take a nostalgic look at these remarkable women and see how they have evolved over the years. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey through Hollywood's golden era. Raquel Welch Raquel Welch, an American actress, was born on September 5, 1940, in Chicago, Illinois. She began her acting career in the 1960s and quickly became a Hollywood beauty icon. In 1975, Welch won a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Motion Picture, musical or comedy, for her role in The Three Musketeers. She also received a Golden Globe nomination for her performance in the television drama Right to Die in 1987. During the 1970s, Welch was regarded as one of the most beautiful women in the world, epitomizing glamour and talent on screen. Throughout her career, Raquel Welch appeared in numerous notable films and made a lasting impact with her strong and alluring presence. She achieved success not only in cinema but also as a fashion and cultural icon, frequently gracing magazine covers and high-profile events. Despite her achievements, Welch faced personal and health challenges in her life. Towards the end of her career, she spent more time with her family and made fewer screen appearances. Raquel Welch passed away on February 15, 2023, at her home in Los Angeles at the age of 82. The cause of death was cardiac arrest, and she had been suffering from Alzheimer's disease in her later years. Her passing left a deep sense of loss among fans and colleagues, but Raquel Welch's artistic legacy continues to endure through time. If you find this video not interesting enough, hit the like button to save it and watch it later. Linda Carter Linda Carter, an American actress, singer, and beauty pageant title holder, was born on July 24, 1951, in Phoenix, Arizona. She rose to fame after being crowned Miss World USA in 1972 and finishing in the top 15 at the Miss World 1972 pageant. Carter is best known for her iconic role as Diana Prince Wonder Woman in the live-action television series Wonder Woman, which aired from 1975 to 1979. Her portrayal of the superheroine made her a household name and a symbol of female empowerment during the 1970s. Beyond Wonder Woman, Linda Carter pursued a diverse career in entertainment. She released several albums showcasing her singing talent and appeared in various television shows and films. Carter's elegance and charm made her a popular figure not only on screen, but also on stage, where she performed in concerts and cabaret shows. Her contributions to the entertainment industry have earned her numerous accolades and a lasting legacy as a beloved actress and performer. Today, Linda Carter is 73 years old and continues to be active in the entertainment industry. She remains a vocal advocate for various causes, including women's rights and LGBTQ rights. Carter's enduring appeal and influence are evident as she continues to inspire new generations with her work and philanthropic efforts. Jacqueline Bisset Jacqueline Bisset, an English actress, was born on September 13, 1944, in Weybridge, Surrey, England. She began her film career in 1965 and gained prominence in 1968 with roles in The Detective, Bullet, and The Sweet Ride, for which she received a Golden Globe nomination for Most Promising Newcomer. Throughout the 1970s, Bisset starred in numerous acclaimed films, including Airport, Day for Night, and The Deep, establishing herself as a versatile and talented actress. Bisset's career spans over five decades, during which she has appeared in a wide range of genres, from drama and comedy to thriller and romance. Her performances have earned her critical acclaim and several award nominations. In addition to her film work, Bisset has also made notable appearances in television series and miniseries, further showcasing her acting prowess. 
she remains a respected figure in the entertainment industry, admired for her beauty, elegance, and acting skills. Now, Jacqueline Bisset is 79 years old and continues to be active in the industry. She has received numerous Lifetime Achievement Awards and remains a beloved figure among fans and peers alike. Bisset's enduring legacy in Hollywood is a testament to her talent and dedication to her craft. Olivia Newton-John Olivia Newton-John, an English-Australian singer, songwriter, actress, entrepreneur, dancer, and activist, was born on September 26, 1948 in Cambridge, Cambridgeshire, England. She rose to international fame with her role as Sandy in the 1978 musical film Grease, which remains one of the highest-grossing musicals of all time. Newton-John is also known for her successful music career with four Grammy Awards, five number one hits, and numerous top ten singles on the Billboard Hot 100. In addition to her music and film career, Newton-John was a dedicated activist and philanthropist, particularly in the fields of environmental and animal rights, as well as cancer research and awareness. She was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1992 and became an advocate for cancer awareness and research, using her experience to help others. Her work in these areas earned her widespread admiration and numerous accolades. Olivia Newton-John passed away on August 8, 2022, at the age of 73, after a long battle with cancer. Her legacy lives on through her timeless music, memorable film roles, and the significant impact she made as a philanthropist and advocate. Newton-John's contributions to the arts and her charitable work continue to inspire and influence people around the world. Bo Derrick Bo Derrick, an American actress and model, was born on November 20, 1956, in Long Beach, California. She gained international fame with her breakthrough role in the 1979 romantic comedy film Ten, where she portrayed the character of Jenny Hanley. Her iconic scene running along the beach in a flesh-colored swimsuit turned her into an overnight sensation and a symbol of beauty and allure in the late 1970s and early 1980s. Following her success in Ten, Bo Derrick starred in several films directed by her husband, John Derrick, including Tarzan the Ape Man, 1981, Bolero, 1984, and Ghosts Can't Do It, 1989. Although these films received mixed reviews, Derrick's striking looks and screen presence kept her in the public eye. Over the years, she also appeared in television series and made guest appearances on various shows, further solidifying her status as a pop culture icon. Currently, Bo Derrick is 67 years old and continues to be involved in the entertainment industry. Beyond acting, she is an advocate for animal rights and serves on the board of several wildlife and conservation organizations. Derek remains a beloved figure, remembered for her timeless beauty and contributions to Hollywood. Dorothy Stratton Dorothy Stratton, a Canadian Playboy playmate, model, and actress, was born on February 28, 1960, in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. She was discovered by Playboy and quickly rose to fame, becoming Playmate of the Month for August 1979 and Playmate of the Year in 1980. Stratton's beauty and charm made her a rising star, and she began to transition into acting, appearing in films and television shows. Despite her promising career, Dorothy Stratton's life was tragically cut short. On August 14, 1980, at the age of 20, she was brutally murdered by her estranged husband and manager, Paul Snyder, who then took his own life. The tragic story of her life and death was later depicted in the 1983 film Star 80, directed by Bob Fosse, and the television movie Death of a Centerfold, the Dorothy Stratton story. Dorothy Stratton's legacy is remembered both for her brief but impactful career and the tragic circumstances of her death. She remains a poignant symbol of lost potential and the dark side of fame. Despite her short life, Stratton left an indelible mark on popular culture and continues to be remembered by fans and the entertainment industry. 
Jacqueline Smith. Jacqueline Smith, an American actress and businesswoman, was born on October 26, 1945 in Houston, Texas. She gained widespread fame for her role as Kelly Garrett in the television series Charlie's Angels, which aired from 1976 to 1981. Smith was the only original female lead to remain with the series for its entire run, and her performance helped make Charlie's Angels a cultural phenomenon of the 1970s. Her portrayal of Kelly Garrett made her an iconic figure in television history. Following the success of Charlie's Angels, Jacqueline Smith continued her acting career with various roles in television films and miniseries. She was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a miniseries or television film for her role in Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy, 1981. In addition to her acting career, Smith became a successful entrepreneur, launching her own line of women's apparel and home furnishings, which further solidified her status as a savvy businesswoman. As of 2024, Jacqueline Smith is 78 years old and continues to be active in both her acting and business endeavors. She remains a beloved figure in the entertainment industry and an inspiration to many for her ability to successfully transition from actress to entrepreneur. Smith's legacy is marked by her enduring popularity and contributions to television and fashion. Farrah Fawcett Farrah Fawcett an American actress, model, and artist, was born on February 2, 1947, in Corpus Christi, Texas. She skyrocketed to fame with her role as Jill Monroe in the television series Charlie's Angels, which debuted in 1976. Fawcett's stunning looks and charismatic performance made her a household name, and her iconic poster in a red swimsuit became one of the best-selling posters of all time. Her popularity on Charlie's Angels helped solidify the show as a major hit. Fawcett left Charlie's Angels after the first season to pursue a film career and later received critical acclaim for her work in both television and film. She earned her first Golden Globe nomination for her role in the television movie The Burning Bed, 1984, which showcased her dramatic acting skills. She continued to receive accolades for her performances in Extremities, 1986, and the television film Small Sacrifices, 1989, further demonstrating her versatility as an actress. Farrah Fawcett passed away on June 25, 2009, at the age of 62, after a courageous battle with anal cancer. Her death marked the end of an era, but her legacy endures through her memorable performances and the lasting impact she had on popular culture. Fawcett remains an iconic figure, remembered for her beauty, talent, and the significant roles she played in shaping television history. Congratulations on completing one of three of this exploration journey. If you enjoyed this video, please comment one, otherwise comment zero. We will use this feedback to evaluate and improve our content. Thank you. Cheryl Ladd Cheryl Ladd, an American actress, singer, and author, was born on July 12, 1951, in Huron, South Dakota. She is best known for her role as Chris Monroe in the iconic television series Charlie's Angels. Ladd joined the show in its second season in 1977, replacing Farrah Fawcett. Her addition to the cast helped maintain the show's popularity, and she remained with the series until its cancellation in 1981. Ladd's portrayal of Chris Monroe made her a beloved figure in television history. In addition to her work on Charlie's Angels, Cheryl Ladd has enjoyed a diverse career in film, television, and music. She has appeared in numerous television movies and miniseries, and her film roles include Purple Hearts, 1984, Millennium, 1989, and Poison Ivy, 1992. Ladd also released several albums as a singer, showcasing her musical talents. Beyond her entertainment career, she has authored books, including a children's book and a memoir, further highlighting her versatility. Today, Cheryl Ladd is 73 years old and continues to be active in the entertainment industry. She is also involved in various charitable endeavors, particularly those focused on children's issues and health advocacy. 
Ladd's enduring appeal and contributions to television and film have cemented her status as a cherished icon of the 1970s and beyond. Christy Brinkley Christy Brinkley, an American model, actress, and entrepreneur, was born on February 2, 1954, in Detroit, Michigan. She gained worldwide fame with her appearances in the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue in the late 1970s, ultimately appearing on an unprecedented three consecutive covers starting in 1979. Brinkley's striking beauty and charismatic presence made her one of the most famous models of her time and a symbol of the 1970s and 1980s fashion industry. In addition to her modeling career, Christy Brinkley has pursued acting, most notably in the film National Lampoon's Vacation, 1983, where she played the iconic Girl in the Red Ferrari. She has also appeared in various television shows and stage productions, including a successful run as Roxy Hart in the Broadway musical Chicago. Beyond entertainment, Brinkley is a successful entrepreneur, launching her own line of skincare products, eyewear, and other lifestyle brands. Now, Christy Brinkley is 70 years old and continues to be a prominent figure in the fashion and beauty industry. She is also known for her philanthropic work, supporting causes such as environmental conservation and children's health. Brinkley's enduring career and commitment to various causes have solidified her status as an influential and beloved personality. Erin Gray Erin Gray, an American actress, was born on January 7, 1950, in Honolulu, Hawaii. She is best known for her iconic roles in two popular television series of the late 1970s and early 1980s. Gray starred as Colonel Wilma Deering in the science fiction series Buck Rogers in the 25th Century, which aired from 1979 to 1981. Her portrayal of the strong and capable Wilma Deering made her a fan favorite and a pioneering figure for women in science fiction. In addition to her role in Buck Rogers, Erin Gray is also well known for playing Kate Summers in the family sitcom Silver Spoons, which ran from 1982 to 1987. Her performance as the compassionate and intelligent Kate helped the show achieve great success and endeared her to a wide audience. Beyond her television work, Gray has appeared in numerous films and guest starred in various TV series, showcasing her versatility as an actress. As of now, Erin Gray is 74 years old and continues to be active in the entertainment industry. She is also a talent agent and has been involved in numerous charitable activities, particularly those supporting veterans and children. Gray's enduring appeal and contributions to both science fiction and family television have made her a cherished figure in popular culture. Jane Seymour Jane Seymour, an English-American actress, was born on February 15, 1951, in Hayes, Middlesex, England. She is best known for her performances in both film and television, which have earned her critical acclaim and a lasting place in the entertainment industry. Seymour gained early fame with her role as Solitaire in the James Bond film Live and Let Die, 1973. Her beauty and talent quickly established her as a prominent actress. Throughout her career, Jane Seymour has delivered memorable performances in a variety of genres. She starred in the romantic time travel drama Somewhere in Time, 1980, and won a Golden Globe Award for her role in the miniseries East of Eden, 1981. Seymour is perhaps best known for her role as Dr. Michaela Quinn in the beloved television series Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, which aired from 1993 to 1998. The role earned her another Golden Globe Award and solidified her status as a household name. Now, Jane Seymour is 73 years old and remains active in the industry, appearing in films, television shows, and stage productions. She is also a successful author and businesswoman with her own line of skincare products and jewelry. Seymour's enduring beauty, talent, and dedication to her craft have made her one of the most respected and admired actresses in Hollywood. Cheryl Teagues 
Cheryl Teagues, an American model and fashion designer, was born on September 25, 1947, in Breckenridge, Minnesota. Frequently described as the first American supermodel, Teagues gained widespread fame in the 1970s with her numerous appearances on the covers of major magazines such as Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue and Time. Her iconic 1978 poster in a pink bikini became a symbol of the era and cemented her status as a cultural icon. Teague's influence extended beyond modeling as she ventured into fashion design, creating a signature line of clothing and accessories for Sears in the 1980s. This move showcased her business acumen and set a precedent for models expanding their careers into entrepreneurship. Throughout her career, she has been involved in various television shows and has made numerous guest appearances, further solidifying her legacy in the fashion and entertainment industries. As of 2024, Cheryl Teagues is 76 years old and continues to be involved in fashion and philanthropy. She is an advocate for environmental and wildlife conservation, actively supporting causes related to these issues. Teague's lasting impact on the modeling industry and her contributions to fashion and environmental advocacy have made her a respected and influential figure. Catherine Ross Catherine Ross, an American film and stage actress, was born on January 29, 1940 in Los Angeles, California. She is best known for her roles in several classic films of the 1960s and 1970s, which have earned her critical acclaim and a place in Hollywood history. Ross gained fame for her portrayal of Elaine Robinson in the iconic film The Graduate, 1967, for which she received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Ross continued to build her impressive filmography with memorable performances in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, 1969, as Etta Place, and The Stepford Wives, 1975, as Joanna Eberhardt. Her work in these films established her as a versatile and talented actress capable of delivering powerful performances across various genres. In addition to her film career, Ross has appeared in numerous television movies and stage productions, further showcasing her range as an actress. Today, Catherine Ross is 84 years old and remains a respected figure in the entertainment industry. She has been married to actor Sam Elliott since 1984, and the couple has often worked together on various projects. Ross's enduring talent and contributions to classic cinema have solidified her legacy as one of Hollywood's most beloved actresses. Morgan Fairchild Morgan Fairchild, an American actress, was born on February 3, 1950, in Dallas, Texas. She began her acting career in the early 1970s and quickly became known for her glamorous image and strong screen presence. Fairchild first gained attention with her role as Jennifer Pace on the CBS daytime soap opera Search for Tomorrow from 1973 to 1977. She then appeared on the primetime soap opera Dallas in 1978, portraying the character Jenna Wade. Fairchild's breakout role came with the NBC series Flamingo Road in 1980, where she played the scheming Constance Weldon Carlyle. This role earned her a Golden Globe nomination and solidified her status as a prominent television actress of the 1980s. Throughout her career, she has made numerous guest appearances on popular TV shows such as Friends, Murphy Brown, and Chuck showcasing her versatility and enduring appeal. Currently, Morgan Fairchild is 74 and continues to be active in the entertainment industry. She is also involved in various charitable activities, including AIDS awareness and environmental conservation. Fairchild's lasting influence in television and her commitment to philanthropy have made her a beloved and respected figure in Hollywood. Goldie Hawn Goldie Hawn, an American actress, producer, and singer, was born on November 21, 1945, in Washington, D.C. She gained fame in the late 1960s as a regular cast member on the sketch comedy show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, which showcased her bubbly personality and comedic talent. 
Han's film career took off with her Academy Award-winning performance in Cactus Flower, 1969, where she won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, Han starred in a series of successful comedies and dramas, establishing herself as one of Hollywood's most versatile and beloved actresses. Notable films include Private Benjamin, 1980, for which she received an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress, Overboard, 1987, and The First Wives Club, 1996. Hahn's charm, wit, and talent have made her a consistent box office draw and a favorite among audiences. As of now, Goldie Hahn is 78 years old and continues to be a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. She is actively involved in the Hahn Foundation, which she founded to promote mindfulness education and support the well-being of children. Han's enduring legacy in film and her contributions to charitable causes have solidified her status as an influential and cherished icon in Hollywood. Sigourney Weaver Sigourney Weaver, an American actress, was born on October 8, 1949, in New York City, New York. She is best known for her iconic role as Ellen Ripley in the Alien franchise, which began with Alien in 1979 and continued with several sequels. Her portrayal of Ripley redefined the role of women in science fiction and action films, earning her critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. Weaver's performance in Aliens, 1986, garnered her an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Weaver's versatile acting skills have allowed her to succeed in a wide range of genres, from science fiction and drama to comedy. She received further acclaim for her roles in films such as Gorillas in the Mist, 1988, where she portrayed primatologist Diane Fossey, earning her a Golden Globe Award, and Working Girl, 1988, which earned her another Golden Globe and an Oscar nomination. Her other notable works include Ghostbusters, 1984, The Ice Storm, 1997, and Avatar, 2009. Currently, Sigourney Weaver is 74 years old and remains active in the film industry, continuing to take on challenging and diverse roles. She is also known for her environmental activism and support for various charitable causes. Weaver's contributions to cinema and her advocacy work have solidified her legacy as a trailblazing and respected figure in Hollywood. Diane Keaton Diane Keaton, an American actress, director, and producer, was born on January 5, 1946, in Los Angeles, California. She first gained widespread recognition for her role as Kay Adams Corleone in the Godfather trilogy, beginning in 1972. However, it was her collaboration with director Woody Allen that truly established her as a major star. Keaton won the Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in Allen's Annie Hall, 1977, which remains one of her most iconic performances. Keaton's career spans over five decades, during which she has showcased her versatility in a variety of genres. She has delivered memorable performances in films such as Manhattan, 1979, Reds, 1981, Father of the Bride, 1991, and Something's Gotta Give, 2003. Known for her distinctive fashion sense and quirky on-screen persona, Keaton has become a beloved and influential figure in the film industry. Now Diane Keaton is 78 years old and continues to be active in acting, directing, and producing. She is also an author, having written several books, including memoirs and works on photography and architecture. Keaton's enduring impact on Hollywood both through her performances and her work behind the scenes, has solidified her status as a legendary and admired actress. Meryl Streep Meryl Streep, an American actress, was born on June 26, 1949 in Summit, New Jersey. Widely regarded as one of the greatest actresses of all time, Streep is renowned for her versatility and ability to master complex characters across a wide range of genres. She made her film debut in Julia, 1977, and gained significant recognition for her role in The Deer Hunter, 1978, 
which earned her the first of many Academy Award nominations. Streep's illustrious career includes numerous iconic performances in films such as Kramer vs. Kramer, 1979, Sophie's Choice, 1982, Out of Africa, 1985, The Devil Wears Prada, 2006, and The Iron Lady, 2011, where she portrayed Margaret Thatcher and won her third Academy Award. She holds the record for the most Academy Award nominations of any actor, with 21 nominations and three wins. Streep is also a celebrated stage actress and has received numerous accolades for her work in theater. Today, Meryl Streep is 74 years old and continues to be active in the film industry. Her recent works include critically acclaimed performances in movies and television series. Streep's enduring talent, dedication to her craft, and significant contributions to the arts have solidified her legacy as a monumental figure in Hollywood. Jessica Lang. Jessica Lang, an American actress, was born on April 20, 1949, in Cloquet, Minnesota. She began her career as a model before transitioning to acting, making her film debut in the 1976 remake of King Kong. Lang quickly established herself as a formidable talent with her performances in films such as The Postman Always Rings Twice, 1981, and Tootsie, 1982, the latter earning her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Langa's career has been marked by a series of critically acclaimed roles in both film and television. She won her second Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in Blue Sky, 1994. Her other notable films include Francis, 1982, Sweet Dreams, 1985, and Cape Fear, 1991. In the 2010s, Lang garnered renewed acclaim for her performances in the television series American Horror Story, earning multiple Emmy Awards for her work on the show. As of 2024, Jessica Lang is 75 years old and continues to be active in the entertainment industry. In addition to her acting career, she is also a skilled photographer and author. Lang's impressive body of work coupled with her ability to continually reinvent herself, has made her one of the most respected and admired actresses in Hollywood. Susan Sarandon Susan Sarandon, an American actress and activist, was born on October 4, 1946, in New York City, New York. She began her acting career in the early 1970s and gained recognition with her performance in the cult classic The Rocky Horror Picture Show. 1975. Sarandon's career took off with a string of critically acclaimed roles in films such as Atlantic City, 1980, The Witches of Eastwick, 1987, and Bull Durham, 1988. Sarandon's most celebrated role came in 1995 with Dead Man Walking, where she portrayed Sister Helen Prejean, a nun counseling a death row inmate. Her powerful performance earned her the Academy Award for Best Actress. Throughout her career, Sarandon has been known for her ability to take on diverse and challenging roles, as seen in films like Thelma and Louise, 1991, Lorenzo's Oil, 1992, and The Client, 1994. As of now, Susan Sarandon is 78 years old and remains active in both the film industry and social activism. She is a vocal advocate for numerous causes, including human rights, environmental issues, and political reform. Sarandon's enduring talent and commitment to advocacy work have made her a respected and influential figure in Hollywood and beyond. Sally Field Sally Field, an American actress and director, was born on November 6, 1946, in Pasadena, California. She began her career in television with roles in popular sitcoms such as Gidget, 1965-1966, and The Flying Nun, 1967-1970. Field transitioned to film and achieved critical success with her performance in Sybil, 1976, earning her an Emmy Award for her portrayal of a woman with dissociative identity disorder. Field's film career soared with her Academy Award-winning performances in Norma Ray, 1979, and Places in the Heart, 1984. She continued to demonstrate her versatility with memorable roles in films like Steel Magnolias, 1989, 
Mrs. Doubtfire, 1993, and Forrest Gump, 1994. Her portrayal of Mary Todd Lincoln in Lincoln, 2012, garnered another Academy Award nomination. Now, Sally Field is 77 years old and continues to be active in the entertainment industry. She has also ventured into directing and has written a memoir sharing her experiences in Hollywood. Field's enduring appeal, talent, and contributions to film and television have made her one of the most beloved and respected actresses of her generation. Faye Dunaway. Faye Dunaway, an American actress, was born on January 14, 1941, in Bascom, Florida. She rose to prominence in the 1960s with her role in Bonnie and Clyde, 1967, where she portrayed Bonnie Parker. Her performance earned her an Academy Award nomination and established her as a major star. Throughout the 1970s, Dunaway continued to deliver critically acclaimed performances in films such as Chinatown, 1974, and Network, 1976, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress. Dunaway's career spans over five decades, during which she has appeared in a wide range of films, showcasing her versatility and talent. Some of her other notable works include The Thomas Crown Affair, 1968, The Towering Inferno, 1974, and Mommy Dearest, 1981. Despite facing some challenges in her career, Dunaway has remained a significant figure in Hollywood, known for her intense and compelling performances. Presently, Faye Dunaway is 83 years old. While she has slowed down her acting activities, she continues to make occasional appearances in films and on television. Her legacy in the film industry is marked by her remarkable body of work and her contributions to some of the most iconic films in cinema history. Barbara Hershey Barbara Hershey, an American actress, was born on February 5, 1948, in Hollywood, California. She began her acting career in the 1960s, appearing in television series and films. Hershey gained critical acclaim for her performances in the 1980s with roles in films such as The Stuntman, 1980, Hannah and Her Sisters, 1986, and Hoosiers, 1986. Her role in A World Apart, 1988, won her the Best Actress Award at the Cannes Film Festival. Hershey's career continued to flourish in the 1990s with standout performances in Beaches, 1988, The Last Temptation of Christ, 1988, and A Killing in a Small Town, 1990, for which she won an Emmy Award. She also received an Academy Award nomination for her role in The Portrait of a Lady, 1996. Hershey has been praised for her ability to bring depth and nuance to her characters, making her one of the most respected actresses of her generation. Today, Barbara Hershey is 76 years old and remains active in the entertainment industry. She continues to take on diverse roles in both film and television, demonstrating her enduring talent and versatility. Hershey's contributions to cinema and her commitment to her craft have solidified her status as a distinguished and admired actress. Catherine Deneuve Catherine Deneuve, a French actress, was born on October 22, 1943, in Paris, France. She rose to prominence in the 1960s with her role in the musical film The Umbrellas of Cherbourg, 1964, directed by Jacques Demy. Deneuve's portrayal of the young and innocent Geneviève earned her critical acclaim and established her as a leading actress in French cinema. Her beauty and talent quickly made her an international star. Throughout her illustrious career, Deneuve has worked with some of the most renowned directors in the film industry, including Louis Bunuel in Belle de Jour, 1967, and Francois Truffaut in Mississippi Mermaid, 1969. She has demonstrated remarkable versatility, taking on roles in a wide range of genres, from drama and romance to horror and comedy. Deneuve's performances in films such as The Last Metro, 1980, for which she won the César Award for Best Actress, and Andochine, 1992, which earned her an Academy Award nomination, 
further solidified her status as one of the greatest actresses of her generation. Currently, Catherine Deneuve is 81 years old and continues to be active in the film industry. She remains a prominent figure in French and international cinema, known for her elegance, poise, and enduring talent. In addition to her acting career, Deneuve is also a committed activist, supporting various humanitarian and social causes. Her legacy in the world of cinema is marked by her exceptional body of work and her contributions to the arts. Thank you all for being among those who stayed till the end of the video, comment too, so we can see you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Famous People channel for more insightful content. We appreciate your participation and look forward to sharing more engaging stories with you in our upcoming videos. Goodbye.